dark and smoky room. Hi guys, welcome back to A Clean With Me. I am so happy to be filming this. I am really excited. We have some really good stuff for you today. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and follow me on Instagram. The at name is on the bottom of the screen to support my channel, and I hope you enjoy this video. What I'm doing right now is taking everything off this kitchen table. I got a little messy, and that's why this channel is called Messy Life. But anyway, I am taking everything off that table and spraying it down like you guys have seen me do a thousand times. I do like to begin ideally in the living room or dining room. I get them confused. Because if I have any dirty dishes like my tea set or any coffee cups that I used that morning or any utensils, all that jazz, I can go ahead and put it in the sink so that when I get to my kitchen, I don't have to come back here and do a double load of dishes. After picking that all up, I am going to vacuum and yes, you're going to see Alice do her little dance. I went ahead and picked up all the fluff and stuff that was on the ground. Thanks to Alice, she picks up sticks and brings them in the house. And I had a couple things in the background on the floor. I went ahead and just threw them away. They had been sitting there for a while because I was like, no, I'm going to use these. I'm going to have these. It's been almost a year. I haven't used these. I haven't touched them. I haven't found any inspiration from them. I went ahead and threw them away, but that's what I've been doing in here. Also, if you guys want to get a snack, go ahead because this is going to be a long video. Next, I'm going to do laundry. You guys haven't seen me do laundry before, and I keep meaning to mention it, but since my neighbor smokes beneath me, that's where all the smoke smell goes, so I'm usually like trying to get in and out as quick as possible because I hate the smell of smoke, especially cigarette smoke. So I try to get in there and out as quick as possible. I try to get my clothes out as quick as possible as well because they will smell of cigarettes if I leave them in there. It stinks. I've yelled at my apartment complex several times about this and they seem to do nothing. But moving on, we are in the kitchen and we are doing all those dishes. I like to begin with the dishes because a clean sink without any dirty dishes is such a nice feeling. I went ahead and put all the dirty dishes from the living room, not the living room, the dining room, B, what are you talking about? The dining room into the sink and so it kind of piled up. So I went ahead and cleaned all those off and then you will see me clean this colander or this, I call it a drainer. I use it to drain spaghetti. I highly recommend you never do this. I wanted to be extra and be like, no, I want to sanitize it. So I use the antibacterial Dawn dish soap that I mentioned in my monthly cleaning favorites video. I will go ahead and link that above, but y'all. I think this thing still has soap in it. I don't know why. I thought like a strainer with all these holes in it wouldn't purple soap, but it does. It just kept bubbling up and bubbling up and bubbling up. It would not get these bubbles out, the soap scum out of this thing. I actually used up my battery just filming this area. So you will see me change outfits a couple times in this video. That's only because I had to leave charge the charge the battery and then come back and then I got like hot I got cold everything like that but honestly I think I look at the camera one time and I'm just like I can't even get the soap out I am literally up against that water up against those holes I had no idea what to do because the soap would not come out do not wash this colander I don't know why like when I did that when I tried to dry it off it just kept bubbling and I'm like why why is this happening? So I don't recommend cleaning it with soap. And I know that you guys are probably like, why do you clean with soap? Because you're not actually getting it dirty. You're draining pasta, which is pasta and water. Um, but I, again, I wanted this to be an extra clean with me. Something that I, it's some things that I don't do always. It's kind of the little extra things. And I'm actually blowing bubbles out of this thing. 
If you just go back like a couple seconds, I was blowing bubbles out of this trainer. So that's what I was doing and why it was close to my face, but don't recommend doing this. Next up, I am taking the peony dish soap and I am blending that with some baking soda to clean my sink. This will get out stains like a gem and I'm talking tea stains. If you haven't seen my video on baking soda about the tea stains and getting those out of cups and such, I will link it above in the iCard and also down in the description below. But I also just showed you how in depth I got into the cleaning. The brush wouldn't get into those little grooves into those little grooves and crevices so I went ahead with my fingers and just scraped it on out. It works like a gem, you really don't have to do a lot of scrubbing with baking soda. Next up is the counters. I had some stuff from breakfast and from a snack. I went ahead and put those back where they belong, threw away some trash, and then I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down. I do have this little area. I had a, what's this called, an essential oil diffuser. I had never really used it in the past couple weeks because I hear it's toxic to dogs, so I don't want to use it. But I went ahead and put that in my bathroom, and then I moved on and put a new roll of paper towels in this Holder, and then I wipe down the base and also the cap of it. Now, this is what I have been waiting for. I'm so excited. So I went ahead and got on top of my countertops and yes, yes it's gonna be nasty. I went ahead, got on top of these countertops. Do you see all this dirt and this grime and this dust? I'm gonna go ahead and dust it off. What I did is I went ahead and removed everything. I sprayed it down with some Mrs. Meyer's lavender scent multi spray. And I'm gonna show you how filthy this is. I usually keep on top of it. I keep on top of the last two, and they're still filthy. And then I go ahead and wipe down this little fox. It actually reminds me of Alice. Whenever I see a fox, I think of Alice. I don't know why, I just do. But I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down, and then I will show you this little middle area in a second. I'm just finishing up with this area. This is an area I usually like to do about once a month just to keep on top of the dust and things because I do have really bad allergies and as you can see that was nasty. But I do have really bad allergies so I like to keep on top of the dust aspect so I don't cough and hack all day long. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to. Here we go. If you want to pause this, it was filthy. And you guys are going to watch. I could not get this stuff off just by scraping. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab some baking soda. And again, I blended that with some Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day. And just watch how easy this gets removed. Like this stuff was crusted on. You see me scraping my hands on it because it was nasty. I was disgusted by this because it was on my skin and the skin is how you absorb all these minerals and nasty things. But I didn't have a scraper so I went ahead and used my hands instead. But 
I'm gonna do a slow shot of the after and it is insane. Go ahead and hit that like button just for this portion. Save myself by turning into stone. So save your judgment cause you just don't know. But some things never change, never change. Oh, they say I should feel guilty and change my ways. Leave and crumple bodies in my wakes where I did. Now that I'm done with that, I did have bare feet on my countertop, so I went ahead and sprayed it down after I was finished with the top. Also, if anything fell off of the top of the counter, uh, the, not the countertops, the little, what is cabinets, off the cabinets, I went ahead and wiped that up, and then I went over it with a disinfectant. Make sure to leave that disinfectant on for 10 minutes, otherwise it won't sanitize. As you can see, I did have a lot of residue on the floor, so I went ahead and vacuumed it, and then I'm going to go ahead and mop after that. Again, it's that dirt and stuff you got from the cabinets. I wanted to make sure none of it was on my feet, getting tracked around. It's just nasty, so I did what I could to keep my, my house clean. Dark side. I wanna know your secrets. I wanna be your lifeline. So I wait for you, wait for me, wait for you, wait for me. Tell me you're more than just a highlight. Pretty pictures on the outside. I hate to stare at you through these lights. So I wait for you, wait for me. Wait for you, wait for me Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Click and scroll, I can't let you go They say I'm addicted to you Oh, oh, this ain't love, no, no This ain't love, no, no This is artificial Okay, now that that has sat for 10 minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and remove it with some paper towels and then go back to the living room to start cleaning up the rest of it. I went ahead and put down all of my seasonal stuff, so I had this little pillow from the Target Dollar Spot. I went outside and put it in the bin for the holiday decor, and I bring it out every season, obviously, and decorate my house with. But that's an organizational tip if you want to see. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below letting me know how, uh, letting me know if you want to see how I organize my seasonal decor. Wait I'm moving on to the couch, which is my favorite part. I went ahead and used my Dyson handheld vacuum for this. I love this little thing. But unfortunately, it did die midway, so I have it charging, and then I decided to finish up with a vacuum. I am checking the little round thing. I don't know what that's called, the brush roll. And emptying out the dust bin, dust bin and then taking out the trash. Because I know this is a little bit crazy of a stream, but... 
I kind of was just everywhere in this thing with me. I was trying to get the most done in the most efficient time. But I went ahead and checked that dust roll because Alice likes to bring in sticks and I felt like I could hear it in the little engine thing and I wanted to make sure nothing was blocking the airflow. back on the couch it's been a few hours I did change my outfit I went to the grocery store and such so I went ahead and vacuumed the couch to go ahead and wipe this down. I'm going to dust this little area and wipe it down. I only wipe it down about once a month and I dust it about once a week. Actually, a fun fact is when you de-dust your house, you're basically de-skinning your house because main, the main reason for dust is just dead skin cells, so it's crazy. I went ahead and did this little guy as well. I love this little table. I love to decorate it. It's where I do all my seasonal decorating. So I made sure to really wipe that down with a duster and then spraying it down with that mint by Mrs. Meyer's multi-purpose spray. Again, my Instagram is at messy life now. If you would like to follow me over there, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, do you remember that video where I got attacked by the wasp? If you do, go ahead and leave a comment down below, but I am back at it with the window cleaning. I was terrified to do it again, and I am just dusting off the windows, and then I'm going to wipe them down again, and it's amazing. I don't think, I think I left this for about a month without wiping it down, and I got so much filth out of it. So thank you to Patrice, Unique Gifts 07 on Instagram, and then Unique Gifts here on YouTube for inspiring me to do this. Disaster, a reckoning. You wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be saved, someone to clean up and tame. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up. Alright, so on these, I actually got a little bit fancy, and again, from Unique Gifts here on YouTube, I got inspired to wipe down my window blinds. So after I do the window sill, you will watch me spray this multi-purpose spray on the windows, window blinds. And the amount of gunk I get off is actually incredibly surprising. You can't see it right now, but I'll show you in a different clip. But I highly recommend beginning this about like once a month. It's nasty. Redemption ever came. I stopped asking for forgiveness. Cause you should know only fools tread with the angels. Fear to go, but you keep trying to get too close. 
Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment cause you just don't know But some things never change, never change oh. Okay, so at this point in time, I was finished with laundry I went ahead and got it out of the dryer, everything smelled fine and then I am going to go ahead and do this for the next like 15 minutes. So go ahead and grab a snack, get settled in, put me in the background, clean with me, fold laundry with me, see who can do it faster. Can you beat me at folding laundry while I'm sped up? I did not just dab by the way, that was a sneeze. to pray today but no one was listening anymore do i need to fade away or stay laying down on the floor i want to know if you beat the shoulder that i need i want to go to take me to neverland Find a way Where is the God that I need Can I get some help today Lord help me with the blood that I bleed I want to know If you beat the shoulder that I need I want to go So take me to Neverland Okay, so now we are in the bathroom portion. This was actually late at night. I don't like to, if I'm going to clean, I don't like to do this area until the very end. And since I have good lighting in here, even at night, I am able to do this. I went ahead and took everything off of that countertop. I said, no, this is not going to happen again. It was crazy. Do you see that wooden board? Yeah, that wooden middle piece. So, I don't know if you guys know, them, but my AC went out. So this was when I got my AC fixed. It kind of got crazy in my bathroom because they used all my towels. They put it on my countertops. They you they cut out some of my wall and they put the wooden plank on my countertop. And I have no, I still have it actually. I have no idea what to do with this wooden plank. I'm like, do you need it? Do I need it? Does the apartment complex need it? Why do we have this? But I think I might just throw it away. But I went ahead and wiped everything down after. I put it, I mean, before I put it away, just because that's something, they get sticky and nasty with products, so I like to wipe down my products down at least once a week. I am also going to give my sink a good scrubbing. I even go and get baking soda at one point because I just want the sink sparkling clean. There was something about a clean sink and a clean countertop. When you walk in there, you just feel so calm and so relaxed and with anxiety and depression. 
I really need my home to be that relaxing sanctuary that we all need. We are on to the toilet. I went ahead and wiped it down with the Mrs. Myers multi surface spray and mint and then wiped down the toilet bowl with a toilet cleaner. I want to say thank you all so much for stay sticking with me and watching these videos with me and cleaning my house and cleaning your house. Let me know what you cleaned while you watched this video or what your favorite part of this video was if you didn't partake in the clean with me. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Go ahead and make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and like this video to be notified when I upload. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.